Hey folks, in this video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite parts of marketing. That might be a little bit nerdy, a little bit geeky. It, it definitely is. But that thing is landing pages. So I wanna talk about what is a landing page? How do you create a landing page? And what goes in to creating an amazing, high converting landing page? But first of all, what is a landing page? Well, essentially it's just the page that somebody lands on after clicking a link. And this is gonna most commonly be referred to in advertising. So if we are running Facebook ads and somebody clicks on the link on our ad, they then go to our landing page. Now, really a landing page can be anything. It might be your home page, it might be a product page, it might be a blog. It can be really, you can call it a landing page can be anything, the, the place that somebody lands on. But when I'm talking about landing pages and what I want to talk about from a advertising and a important marketing point of view is the landing page that someone lands on after clicking on your ad that has a direct action that we want someone to take. Let me explain that a little bit further. When we're running ads, yes, we might want to send people to a blog post or a web page or any web page. But most commonly when we're running ads, we're sending people from an ad on Facebook to a landing page that is trying to get someone to take some sort of action. That might be buy a product, that might be download our free guide, that might be sign up to a webinar. Now that landing page, that place that somebody lands on needs to be designed and needs to have copy and creative and imagery and videos and lots of different things. In fact, seven elements, which I'm gonna talk about in this video, in order to get that person that's clicked on the ad to take the action that we want them to take. Because if somebody clicks on our ad, but then lands on this landing page and it doesn't entice them to take the action that we want them to take, they're not gonna take that action. And for us, that's a wasted opportunity. And that is wasted money. Because if someone has clicked on that ad, they have shown an interest in what we have to say, what we have to offer. But if the landing page isn't enticing enough, isn't compelling enough, to make them take that action, then our advertising is never going to work. So in order to show you how to create an amazing landing page and show you the seven elements that go into an amazing landing page, we're gonna jump into my laptop here and I'm gonna actually build a landing page with you so you can see how we do it. Here I am in ClickFunnels, which is my favorite funnel building and landing page software. And I, we've got essentially a very blank, clean sheet here to start from. And so I want to walk you through the seven elements to a highly converting landing page by building one with you right now. Now let's think, let's imagine we are trying to get someone to sign up to a webinar. And you can use this, this even though I'm talking about a webinar right now, you can use this example for all your landing pages because the seven elements that we have to high converting landing pages are relevant to every offer, every space, every industry, every everything that comes to a landing page. And these things are relevant because they're nothing to do with tech, tactic, space, industry, but they're everything to do with how we work as human beings, how we work and engage and how we drive people to take action. So a landing page starts with a headline. So let's go in here in ClickFunnels and create a headline. And as I say, let's pretend that we're building a landing page for a webinar. So my big headline here is, is that what I want to do here is, is to grab that person's attention. If someone has clicked on the ad, they've waited for our landing page to load, which by the way is important, your landing page needs to load fast. We need to then grab their attention with that headline. So we don't want to say something like, we don't want to say free training, because that's boring. So what we want to do is, is share them, share with something a real benefit, something that if they've clicked on that ad, what problem are we going to solve with this training? So it might be something like the secret we used to generate 1000 leads every single month from Facebook ads without spending a huge amount of money or without a huge advertising budget. So what I'm doing here is I'm telling them exactly the benefit of coming to this webinar. I'm saying, this is how we generate a thousand leads and this is how you can do it with this little secret. Now that 
secret part just adds a little bit of curiosity. It makes them go, hmm, I wonder what this is going to be. Now, I like to then capitalize all the words in the headline. So what I want to do is go to here, settings, advanced, text transform, capitalize. Make that nice and capitalize. Next, so the headline and the subheader are the kind of number one part of the element, the number one thing of building a landing page. Now, I'm not actually going to use a subheading. In fact, what I could do is add a subheading, but I like to add the subheading to the top above the text here. And I might want to say, Gavin Bell presents. So something there, Gavin Bell presents the secret we use to generate 1000 leads every single month from Facebook ads without a huge advertising spend. Benefit, generate a thousand leads without spending a huge amount of money, which is something, an objection that I often hear. Then what I want to do, the next thing I want to add is a video. Videos are so important to landing pages because nothing is, no other method allows you to build trust and allow a person to see and feel you and sound, hear what you sound like, anything like a video. When somebody lands on our landing page or our ad, chances are they probably don't know who we are. They probably, they probably don't care who we are. And so what we need to do is try and build trust with them very quickly. So what we want to do is create a video there that tries to build that trust with somebody. Now, I don't have a video off the top of my head here, and so I'm just going to put a placeholder. But that placeholder is there. And in that video, I might talk about who I am. I might talk about the benefit. If it's a webinar, I'm going to talk about the benefit of attending that webinar, the things I'm going to talk about on that webinar, and try and push them towards taking the action of signing them up. The next important part of the landing page is having a call to action, which is the button or the thing that we're trying to make them do or take, the action that we want them to take. So often we're going to have a button on that page. And a lot of people are going to look into things like what color of button should we use, but for me, it's not really that important to be honest. I'd rather focus on trying to drive the benefits rather than focus on things like colors. Because if you're running ads and you're, you're sending people to this landing page, the benefit that you're trying to drive is way more important than the colors. And we can start playing around with the colors later on once we're starting to see how people engage with the landing page. But if, if we've not even sent anyone to the landing page, ignore your button color for now and just focus. In fact, Make the button color in line with your brand identity. That's the most important thing to start with. And if we start finding that people aren't converting on the landing page, we can start looking at colors. And even in, in the button, what we want to do is try and make it enticing. So yes, I want more leads. Let's try and make the text in the button enticing as well. The next big important thing about creating a landing page is ensuring that this whole call to action and the benefit and, and the video is what we call above the fold. Now, if I preview this and I show you another landing page that I've created in the past, when somebody comes to this page, we want everything that we need them to see to be above the fold. Now, that needs to be the button and the headline. And this landing page actually doesn't have a video, but it converts very well without it. This, this landing page converts at around 40%, but it's above the fold. Now the fold is, see here at the bottom where the page, you can't see the rest. So you have to scroll down to get below the fold. So we want everything, that we, the action and the main benefit of what we're trying to sell here above the fold. So no one has to scroll to get down to sign up or to see the benefit. So that's a really, really important part one of the seven main elements is to keep that above the fold. The next thing that we want to talk about is adding a little bit of description, more text, more benefit driven text. And my favorite part on a click on click funnels is this bullet list here. So I can add a bullet list of things that's going to that people are going to learn on the webinar. And if I go here again, click on subtitle, go to the top, you're, you'll learn on this training, you'll learn. And then what we want to do in here is add some benefits. So we might want to say how to generate leads on autopilot, how to generate, how to make more sales 
using Facebook ads. I'm just totally making this up. And how to always break even on your advertising. Totally making all this up. And what I'll do is I'll just make that font size slightly bigger, like so. There we go. I'll uh, we'll make the font size on this button slightly bigger as well, like that. And then we'll move. I don't want to duplicate that. What we'll do is we'll then click here and move that over to the left. Now, I was trying to get rid of the bold here, but it wasn't letting me. Let's try again. There we go. So there we go. We've got a landing page where everything is above the fold. We've got the headline, we've got a video talking about the webinar, the three main benefits and the call to action. What next? What we want to do now is to create a new section. And in here, what we want to do is maybe add three columns. Let's change, let's go and change the color of this top bit. And again, let's make it something brand worthy. So something on brand, I'm just going to pretend that I've got not blue because then I'd want white text. Let's go with no, let's just go with a slight gray. Now I'm just totally making this up again. And then in here, what the next element, what I want to talk about is adding social proof. So how do people that have landed on this page know to trust you? How do we know you know what you're talking about? Now, what you might, might want to do is add in a few, well, we don't want that. We don't want that there. You might want to add in a few testimonial videos from people that have been on your webinar and have talked about it or current clients of yours we could add in those testimonial videos and say something like, hear from my students. We could do that. Or we could add in a bar of logos. So you know when you go into a website and you see has appeared on or featured on, adding logos is a great way to get better conversion rates because people see logos that they trust and then they go, oh, they, this guy must know what he's talking about. So we could, but let's, let's just, for the matter of the fact, let's just say testimonials from current customers. And then I'm gonna hit save. And one of the most important parts of building a landing page, we don't want that. One of the most important parts of building a landing page is having it so there's no way for people to exit onto something else. So one of the big problems that I see businesses make on running when they're running their Facebook ads is they start to send traffic or people to their homepage. Now, if you visit someone's homepage, it's gonna have an about, a link to an about page, privacy policy, contact us, services, products, we're not driving people to take one single action. When, we're, when we send someone to a homepage, we're giving them hundreds of different potential actions to take with all the different links. What we want to do is have our landing page as a place where one single action can be made. So we don't want to have any links towards about pages. We don't want links to other products. If we want someone to sign up for this webinar, the only link that we want to give them is the ability, the only action that they can take on that page is either to go away from it, to click away from it, or to sign up for that webinar. So we're giving them the choice. If someone clicks on their ad, from on our ad from Facebook that talks about this free webinar, then come to this landing page, we include the seven elements and give them the opportunity to sign up to the webinar or go away. If we've designed the page in a way that's appealing to the eye, We've designed it in a way that talks about the benefits of driving, of, of coming to the webinar. We've given them social proof to say we know what we're talking about. And we're really, in the video, we share who we are. We share what's in the webinar. You're going to get high conversion rates. And like I say, if you've got a landing page that isn't converting well, that's not good for your business because you're going to be spending money sending people to that landing page. And if no one is signing up, you're just wasting your advertising spend. A lot of the time, people say that Facebook ads don't work because they're not getting the leads or they're not getting the sales. It's nothing to do with their Facebook ads, but it's to do with their landing page because plenty of people might be clicking on your ads, but if they're not signing up to the thing or they're not taking the action that you want them to take, your ads aren't going to work. And so it's vital that we build a landing page that converts. And one of, the, one of the main things about building a landing page that converts is tracking. What are people doing on our website, are, on, on our landing page? Are they clicking off straight away? Is the page loading fast enough for them? Or are they clicking 
to, yes, I want more leads, they're clicking on the button, but then they're clicking off when the pop-up comes up to ask for their name and their email address. We need to be looking at all these different things so we can say, okay, that's the problem, let's change this. Let's change the button color to see what we can do to make this work. So those are my seven elements to building a really profitable landing page, which is half the battle to creating ads that convert, to creating profitable Facebook ads, ads that really grow your business. So if you want to be successful with Facebook ads, you really need to become successful with landing pages too. Now I've built this landing page in ClickFunnels and you can see roughly five minutes. And so ClickFunnels is my preferred landing page software because I can create things super easily and super quickly, which means if it works, great. If it doesn't work, that's fine. We can try something else. If you've learned something in this video, please let me know in the comments below. Drop a like on this video. It helps massively and share it with someone that needs to see it. Other than that, I will see you in the next video.